is Kent, once the home of William Pitt, Prime Minister. But there are very many other famous people who came and sometimes lived in this sleepy London suburb. Billy Graham, for example, the American evangelist, who stayed at Hayes, here in the vicarage, as it was then. He preached here, at Hayes Parish Church and drew record congregations. Less well known is the fact that Harold Wilson also spent some time in Hayes when he's preparing for the 1963 Bromley Conference, a spring conference, and here is the room he actually slept in while he stayed in Hayes. And in the late 1950s, Andy Warhol, shown here at the camera, lived in this mock Georgian house in Hayes Lane, which has now been converted into a telephone exchange. This is called the White House on Hayes Common. President Reagan stayed here during a clandestine meeting with President Gorbachev. Gorby chose to stay in this charming little gatehouse at the entrance to Hayes School. Most of the meetings between Regan and Gorbachev took place here at the New Inn opposite to Hayes Station. This world famous profile belongs of course to Benito Mussolini who spent two long years as a refugee living in these almshouses in Hayes. The schooling took place at this little village school where he learnt elementary English. And finally, there is the very famous debate between the two Russian leaders, Leon Trotsky and Joseph Stalin. A radio broadcast direct from Hayes Village Hall to the Soviet Union. <laughs> 